One thing about murals is they have to tell a story. It just doesn't need to be good artwork. It has to be a story to it. You can get a little a canvas and you can paint on that, but when you're going to paint on a wall on a bigger size, on a bigger scale, um, you don't realize, but you, you're on the wall for like five, six hours and you really didn't make a lot of, uh, a lot of difference. I came to the committee and, and I asked about these walls that were in bad shape and I presented some drawings. I, I filled out an app, you know, you have to fill out an application for it and the committee and the elders in the community, they, they agreed to it. They, they uh, said it was okay and it felt good to get their blessings. This is history books here. This is like history books and uh, we're just trying to, uh, you know, keep the history, our history going by, by, by way of art. It's an amazing feeling, it's an honor, um, it's a privilege, and I thank all the people that came before me and my ancestors thousands of years back. You know, we're, we're just continuing the, 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 the culture of muralism. We've been painting murals for thousands of years already, so it just feels good to be part of that. I paint these because there's a message behind them, there's teachings behind them. I still have like 20, 30 feet you know, of pillar here on both sides. And so I'm hoping that one of these days I can make enough money or find funding to uh, go all the way to the top.